Hello, everyone. I am starting the meeting. It is 6.02. I would like everyone to stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, I'd like um, to open the floor for nominations for president. Can I have a nomination, please? I would like to nominate Scott Halleck for president. Okay, and is there a second? Second. Thank you. Nominations for president is still open. Is there anyone else? Okay, at this time I'd like to call the vote. Nancy? Yes. Kristen? Scott? Yes. Stacy? Yes. Amador? Yes. At this point, we have appointed Scott Halleck as our president, and I'm going to have him administer the oath to Scott. Thank you. Okay, so I have this paper. This is the one you're going to read for president. Raise your right hand and please say what's on the paper. I, Scott Halleck, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the office of President of the Elgin Central School Board member, according to the best of my ability. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Halleck. I'm going to turn over the meeting to President Halleck. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. At this time. Approval to appoint Vice President. I need a motion to approve Stacey Cunas as former no, vice president. No, you have to, I have to be nominated first. Oh, yeah, I need, I need a motion to nominate. I'll nominate her. Second? I'll second. Right, perfect. Let's cut to the chase here. <laughs> Maybe somebody else wanted to do that. Okay, at this time I'll take a vote for Stacey Kuhn to be vice president. Yes. 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 All in favor? Aye. Perfect. Done. Who will appoint district clerk? Oh. No? Alex, have to swear her oh, I swear it? Yep. Oh, okay. This happens once a year, so I forget. <laughs> <clears throat> he goes in front of you. I, Stacey Kuhn, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Vice President of the Eldred Central School Board according to the best of my ability. Congratulations, you are Vice President. Approval <clears throat> to appoint Lisa Subversive as District Clerk of the Board of Education for 2023-2024 school year. I'll make the a, motion. Need a second? I need a vote. Yes. 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 Uh, president. Now you have to administer her oath. Administer the oath to the vice president. Yeah, well, we're going to do, do all these together now or are going to do yours separate? All together. No, uh, we're going to do everyone together. Right? The, stand. the whole board and everything, right? Yep. Everyone has their paper in front of them. Just read off. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Ready? I, Stacey, I, I swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of New York, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Eldridge Central School Board member according to the best of my ability. All right, congratulations everybody. Nothing's changed. Look forward to a good year again, hopefully. Moving on. Approval of the Board of Education remains a member of the New York State School Board Associations, the Sullivan County School Board Association, and the Rural School Associations for 2023-2024. I'll make the motion. Second. I'm just going to do all in favor now, okay? That's fine. All in favor? All right. Aye. <clears throat> A 
approval to appoint as uh, Scott Halleck and Stacey Q. Former as voting delegate for the Board of Education for New York State School Boards Association for the 2023-2024 school year. Does anybody else have any uh, thoughts of doing this? They want to do it? <laughs> it's all yours. It's all yours. I, I need a nomination for Stacy and myself. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approval to appoint Nancy Davis former as an alternate delegate for the annual New York State School Board Association for 2023-2024 school year. Now with this all being said, you're a delegate. Stacy can't make you want to go to Buffalo this year? I, I am not going. I will be in the Bahamas. Yeah. 19th? Twenty second through the twenty fourth, I believe. Is it September? Oh, I'm sorry. What is it? Okay, so I'll need a nomination. I nominate Nancy. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now, for some reason, now correct me if I'm wrong. For some reason, if Nancy can't go, another board member can go, right? Even though she's the delegate. SESPA delegate, which Nancy is, but you, you and Stacy are the, um, you're the delegate, she's the alternate. Right. Now we're doing, now on 209, that's where they talk about the school board convention that you're talking about. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So just to clear Okay, so, okay. Approval of representative of the Board of Attendee Annual New York State School Board Convention is? It's in Buffalo. In Buffalo, 2023. So I need approval for myself and, and Nancy. 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 So let's make that correction here. Microphones. Not getting it? We're all off, except for two. I'm on. <laughs> I put mine up. Is it testing? Testing. Yeah. Testing. Hello, use mine. I'm not going to speak too much tonight, I don't think. So, yeah. might as well take one that's not going to be used, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so we made that correction for Nancy to attend the annual New York State School Board Convention in Buffalo. Now, my question was if something comes up that Nancy can't, another board member could go, correct? Correct. Okay. Okay. As I know, with my condition last year, I didn't know up until a week before that I was going in to have surgery. Yeah, so, and I was the only one that went. And she was the only one that went. He's just kind of from the board, right? From the board. Well, yeah, Tracy went. Mm -hmm. So I just want to clarify that. So I need a motion for myself and Nancy to attend to Sarah, B Buffalo School, uh, School Board Association uh, Convention. I'll make the motion. Second. 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 By <coughs> Kristen, all in favor? Aye. 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 Approval of SCBA Executive Committee. Approval of the appointment of Scott Halleck and Stacey Q. Former as the district representative to the Sullivan County School Board Executive Committee for the 2023-2024 school year. So if anybody's interested in doing this, I'm, I'm good with that, but it's normally once a month in Liberty, right? And then there's- it's, It kind of, to, it goes around- Right, different, Tri Valley, Manor. Different schools host and, they have different speakers every month. Right. And it's kind of, it's pretty informational. I mean, I try to make as many as I can. I don't get to all of them, but it's a lot of times Stacy can fill in or whatever. But if somebody's interested in doing that, step up and, you know, if you want to go. We all get invited to this, right? No. Oh. Oh, some of it. Some of the, some yeah, of some the some things of the really you yeah. Right. Some of the things, but not all the, not right. everyone. Okay. So everybody good? So I need a motion for me and Stacy to stay where we're at now. I'll make that motion. <clears throat> I'll second it. Second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Beat resolved. Board of Education has completed the superintendent's performance evaluation process. Salary and benefits are determined by the board at the time of the appointment and are reviewed by the board each year pursuant to the superintendent's contract. 
A performance raise is suggested the superintendent has met the effective status with the entitles a 3% raise. We've all did this together. We're all on the same page, so I need a motion. I'll make a motion. Second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Mm -mm. This is the worst, worst meeting i ever had here. So I forget how to do it half the time. <laughs> all right, we'll go with the superintendent's report. Tracy, you're up. Okay. Um, a couple of things, we were just notified that Sullivan County has been included in the federal government's high intensity drug trafficking areas program. So that gives us a special designation of HDTA. Um, this was put in the newspaper, I'm not sure if everybody saw it. Sullivan County had been applying for this special designation several times and had gotten passed over. Finally, they recognized that 84 is a major highway that is a drug highway, and it cuts right through Sullivan <coughs> County and feeds into us with six and with 55. So they have recognized us. What that means for us is that it will open up new federal resources that will help local law enforcement um, enforcement agencies. Now, just the New Jersey New York Division of HDTA is 302 million dollars in their working budget. So we're not sure if we're going to get a lump sum. They are talking about putting more boots on the ground, per se, as far as law enforcement. What it help, how it does help us is now with this designation, Sullivan County Sheriff's Office can talk to other agencies and they can exchange information. Orange County is HDTA. Um, I do believe Ulster is also HDTA. So we're not sure if we're going to get actual funding, but it does help us as far as a county. So this was an important thing they did. Bond project, we have our um, numbers in as far as NYSED. We have to have our project numbers. We have submitted that. We are still on track to submit everything on time to NYSED with all of the accompanying documentation so that we are still on track for bidding, which is the important piece, to happen in our written, you know, projected timeline as far as winter because we want to hit that sweet spot as far as making sure that we have all the bids go out and the jobs assigned so that winter we have everybody because we're going to rock and roll in the spring of next year. Um, so that is, we're still on track for that. Uh, myself and the administrative team, we have met, we've done our, um, our retreat. We did that last, two, um, last week, that was two days. I felt it was really good. I got some feedback from the admin team. We now have goals for the 23-24 school year. There will be a presentation in August um, that will show that what the admin team as far as district goals and school goals go. So, and then yesterday we did an all day um, conference with, working with a um, leader in me trainer and that was all day at McKenzie. I found to be extremely valuable. I can actually say now I truly understand what leader in me is. It's about a mindset like shift, it's a framework, it's not a program and that the leader in me is our um, SEL program that we're launching and it works on the seven habits of highly effective people. So that we did yesterday, 30th and 31st of August. That's where we're gonna kick off our new school year. And the first day on the 30th, it is just faculty leader and me training. I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually, I'm very excited about this program and I'm just looking for, forward to what's gonna grow out of that program. Um, pickleball court is up and running. Um, the teachers, it was like Laura Moon, Kelly Pratchler, um, let's see, Amanda Ross, Tyler LaPutte, and the Vorstats, they helped set all that up. They helped paint. Um, I know the Vorstats are running an open, like, rec night on Wednesday night starting at 6, so they're even willing to teach people. If you don't know how to play pickleball, you can join us on Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock. It is open to the public, to the community to use um, during the days. They don't have to wait for Wednesday. It's just Wednesday night. There will be lessons <laughs> offered. Um, the last thing I have is we did, you know, our Regents result. I was very pleased with our Regents results because we gave all the Regents um, June and this coming August is the last time for the COVID exemption and the COVID exemption was given to us by the state and it's for all high school regents across the state and it basically says you can get a COVID exemption if you pass the class 
and get a 50 to 64 on the Regents exam, you get an exam exemption. This goes away in August. So we are, um, we've already ordered August Regents, so students will have an opportunity to take to take advantage of that last exemption. But our chemistry regents, 100% passed. And then we had a perfect score. So that was to Erin Tukulski. She did a lot of work with the kids. Even with our earth science, you know, four out of our nine classes, they had 85 or above passing rate. So I was really pleased with that. Um, the global history, yes, that was a 63 passing rate. That's also a new exam. So we have to, I have to remind myself, and U.S. history was also a new exam. It had never been given before because last year they canceled it. Um, next year, the new regents will be Algebra 1. It will be a new exam. So the regents, they keep kind of going through. So I was really pleased with that. Um, so that concludes my report. Board, have any questions? I do. Mm -hmm. um, with this new designation of the HDTA, mm -hmm. If funding does come through, would that be applicable to, say, our SRO salaries, some kind of an anti-drug initiative presentation for the kids? How would we use that? That's what I'm, I'm hoping for because we've also been working with Sullivan 180. They have um, some really good programs regarding vaping mm -hmm. and anti-drug use. So if we do actually get funding, I've already made inroads into Sullivan 180 with their grants to see what we can do to get some things in program. Um, and also we can mm -hmm. add resources to our health to Ms. Pratchler and mm -hmm. the health curriculum. And then again, if the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office gets it, I'm hoping working with the other superintendents, we can get some money filtered into schools, not just into the Sheriff's Department. Okay. So I'm just excited that we finally got the right. designation. Yeah. Thank you. All good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... We're, uh, I've got some preliminary numbers for you guys right now. Um, our estimated revenues as of today's accounting, which was actually two days ago, uh, is about 19147 based on a budget of 19070 so we came about 70 over. Uh, that's a little less over than I like to usually be. Uh, I tend to usually go, um, I, like, I come very close to what I say I'm going to spend and I usually, my extra is on the revenue end. Um, we lost $196,000. I was actually explaining to Tracy there's a mechanism in funding. If a homeless youth from our district ends up as a ward of the state or in another district, they take $26,000 per student straight out of your aid. And we had seven, um, they do it on a, um, a prorated basis, so 7.35. Whereas like last year we had three. So they took quite a bit of money from us this year for that. And then also our wealth factor went up, so we lost about 60,000 in BOCES aid. BOCES aid. Um, and we came in at about 19,092 expenditures. We went a little over budget, possibly. Um, however, it's still a surplus year. Um, to tell you where we went over, and I'm gonna have a more detailed report because we're five days after the year end. Um, in August, I can give you a more detailed report. Um, legal fees for various hearings we've had, that's um, not just employees, that's students as well. Uh, our, our lawyer's fees are gonna be, uh, we budgeted, so our retainer is 22,000. Um, we budgeted 30 in case we went over. We spent close to 70 in legal fees. Um, we had to purchase the equipment. If you remember in the last year and I had uh, stumbled with my words with why we needed to buy the equipment, but we ended up having to spend about $35,000 on a new panel. So that was not expected. Um, and then uh, certain fees for like professional services, they're still a little high, although we've reined them in quite a bit. Um, however, there isn't, it's not all bad news. So last year we spent 19 million 237. So we did still pull back spending quite a bit from last year. Uh, I thought we would pull it back more than we did, but we still pulled back. Uh, and we still have a surplus year, meaning we brought in more money than we spent. Um, for That'll be our seventh straight year, so we'll still have a zero um, on our fiscal stress score. Uh, we have, at the time I wrote this, there was 3.3 million, but then I finished the treasurer's report. And we've actually ended the year with 3.566 million, so close to 3.6. That's actually $300,000 more than we had last year, partially because we did a better job of collecting our revenue. Um, so we have fewer receivables. Um, 
we spent about, to, to Tracy's point with the bond project, we spent about $300,000 so far on the bond project. We're supposed to spend our own money first. So um, what that has gone to is mostly architect engineering fees. We've had some geotechnical stuff up there. They're actually coming up here tomorrow and they're going to test <laughs> some of the ground where that um, concession stand is gonna be. So we uh, are, are borrowing a backhoe and they're gonna dig three holes just to you know, test the ground that it's going on. Uh, also, we got our, uh, and I didn't have a chance to explain this to Tracy yet, so I apologize because we just got it recently. The um, newest estimates, they're the 60% estimates, um, and Amador will know more about this to, uh, that doesn't mean that it's only 60% of the project that's budgeted, it's just the, that's the point in the design phase that we're at. And right now we're at a pretty good price. We were at 10.9 million. The um, project was approved for uh, a lot more than that. So we've got, a good, we've got about $500,000 in wiggle room right now is where we're at. So uh, what ended up happening was the athletic field came above cost, but the roof, as of right now, is only going to cost 1.2 million instead of three. They're going to be able to salvage most of the roof. We are going to have to replace all of the metal roof, um, but the actual um, <laughs> membrane roof is going to be able to be restored and come with, I believe, it was a 25-year warranty. Just gonna so it's not like a, a patch. It's it it's comes complete with with the warranty. Um, we transitioned to a semi-monthly payroll. Uh, our first pay was on the 10th. We didn't have any problems with it. Um, and I think that was all I had had. Do I have another one on there? I did them a little out of order. No, that was all I had for you. I'm going to have a lot more detailed numbers for you, but just to give everybody an idea, the, the 30th was a Friday, and then our first day back was the 5th, and it was the admin retreat. <laughs> so we've had you know only a couple working days before I got, and I, and I got this on the 10th <laughs> when it went out. So um, there's only really one working day to get the numbers together, so they're not as detailed as I'd like them to be, but they're pretty close. They're, these are not going to be like... You know, it's not going to be a, we're, we're not going to make 19 million five and we're not going to have spent, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars more than that. It's, they're pretty close to where we're going to be. Okay. Gold star for hustle. Yeah. <laughs> Gold star for hustle. We're trying to turn new leaf here, new leaf. I like it. <laughs> Any questions for Caleb? No. no. I don't have a report. There's nothing else going on. So at this time, I'll do a public comment on the consent agenda items only. Public comment. All good? Okay. At this time, we've all had a chance to uh, see the agenda. So at this time, I will ask for a motion to approve 5.01 through 9.04 consent items. I will make the motion. Stacey made the motion? I'll second it. Seconded by Nancy. <laughs> Any uh, conversation on, on anything that you read? All good with it? I'll take a vote. Nancy? Yes. Kristen? Yes. Stacy? Yes. Amador? Yes. Okay. All in favor? It's all good. Old business to come before the board. Any old business? Any new business to come before the board? You've been approved. Congratulations. <laughs> You're on the agenda. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know, it's Mrs. Hansen, Doreen Hansen. She was a tax, she, I worked with Doreen hand in hand for eight years on the town board. Served with her husband on the town board. Uh, she's very good at her job. She's been doing this for a long time for the town of Highland. She's done it for quite a while at Sullivan West. So we were very happy to have her here with us as we know she knows what she's doing. So congratulations and thank you for coming. Jumped the gun a little bit on her oath of office. I was like, wait, no point of reference. <laughs> I just did. Oh, that's no. not legal? Yeah. No. <laughs> does she have to take an oath? Uh, does she have to take an oath? She's taking it, but she doesn't have to. Oh, okay. All right, so you can do, you can do the, oh, perfect. I won't have to screw another one up, maybe? <laughs> All right, second public comment on anybody who wants to talk about anything. It's all good? It's all good by us. Uh, our next meeting will be held on 6 p.m. on Thursday, August 10th, 2023, regular meeting. 
here at this school. And as of right now, I will need a motion to go into executive session. Do we intend to, to we do. conduct business yes. afterwards? Well, there could be, yes. But as of right now, we made a motion. I need a second. I'll second. All in favor? All right, so we'll, we intend that there will be maybe some uh, business after executive session. We'll be entering executive session for personnel. I need a motion to come out of executive session. I'll make, I'll make a motion. Motion made by Kristen, seconded by Stacy. There will be no business intended. Have a great night. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you in August. You won't see me, but I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make it. Made by Nancy, <laughs> seconded by Stacy. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye.